hey y'all hey let's get into this intuitive reading this intuitive message for chris bowser <laughs> um this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not you have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself okay when i did a reading on jasmine which and if i do do a reading on her one of the consistent questions is is he coming back is he coming back so first of all let's just get into what the cards are saying this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes if um you are new here welcome and if you always here welcome back friend don't forget to like share comment and subscribe okay so in his energy field there's an energy of being very lazy being very like low Thing, no energy, false start, no response, disinterest. This card also makes me feel like um, uh, um, pregnancy. Uh, this is just, just is just that, okay? Um, but Spirit is also acknowledging that he's feeling this way because he needs a spiritual bath. Um, and this could just hint that someone is trying to put their intentions that he, you know, just be sick and riddled with anxiety and fear and stress etc 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 so this card is suggesting that he get a spiritual bath a cleansing um, focus on relaxation self-love replenishment satiety within spirit is acknowledging though you know moving forward there will be mountains in his environment in his energy field but that is you know that's life okay so buckle up and get prepared for this journey this ride that you've chosen good choices equal good karma bad choices equal bad karma it's just as simple um but you can focus and anticipate good things but you, your actions need to speak louder than your words. Um, his offer, he's declined this offer with Jasmine. It will, will you come back? Was my question. Um, offer declined. On the bottom of the deck, I'm honored, but I can't. <laughs> Very well. Okay, so it does not energetically feel like he is going to be moseying on down or back around to her place of um, residence. Um, again, there's this energy of loyalty, not having loyalty, not being loyal, dead end stalemate, not now, perspective shift is needed. Um, and I've always said this, that there's this energy of him wanting to get his side out, get his his voice out to communicate um, via YouTube. And there's something that's going to happen that's going to make him feel like he blew his top. Like he's going to be real, real pissed about it. And then he's going to say what he needs to say. And that might be the only time that he says something. But it's just an energy every time I read on him that there's this energy of him wanting to get out and say something about this situation. Hindsight is 2020. So there is an, an energy of introspection, wanting people to kind of see it from his point of view. Uh, but Spirit is also acknowledging that in doing so, this is going to create a storm but the storm is going to be um created to put him in alignment there's nothing you can do when the universe intervenes and says you know what i'll take it from here okay so strong momentum sudden change necessary shake of transformation and or hope spirit is also acknowledging that god doesn't like ugly so there is karma okay because what you do you get back Mm, not my business nastiness class strife resentment argument spite grudge and revenge it's yours you know what i'm saying so don't run from it it's yours um Chris, what does the universe want to say to Chris Bowser? You are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. And I've, I've said this. Like, I feel like we all come into this realm with gifts and talents. And, you know, we get distracted along the way, sidetracked, and we fumble. We fuck shit up. Um, and then again... Everybody is worthy of the goodness of this realm, like everybody. But you also have to acknowledge that your choices will alter that. <laughs> okay. Chris Bowser. Thank you. All right. So there's an energy of walking away, leaving, separation, endings, divorce, walking away, roses on the ground, wilted love, walked away. Um, subconsciously, he's acknowledging like I'm trusting the synchronicities. I'm trusting divine timing, healing. Time heals all wounds. Okay. In the middle of the deck, spirit is acknowledging that he wants a, a like he wants to wipe somebody down. He wants the traditional family, traditional ceremony, that kind of thing. That's really what he wants. Okay. Not my business, not my problem. All right, Chris Bowser, current energy. Yeah. 
Okay, so there's this energy of him him trying to be intellectual, him trying to, you know, acknowledge like I'm smarter. I've ended this chapter almost like this is the end of chapter and I've graduated. <laughs> like I don't have to do this anymore. Um, but there's also this energy over here of receipts and having receipts and keeping notes. And I just keep telling y'all like he wants to say something. Chris feel about Jasmine petty activated um, subconsciously said that she was wifey material or seen her as wifey material or she thought that she was wifey material but he was hooking up the entire time with somebody else mm -hmm. current energy what does Chris need to hear moving in love and light Oh, fertility. So second time we hear something about fertility, children, etc. Three is significant. I do see a tree. Let's say for like ancestry. With this sign, you are safe to fall in love. You have the strength to bear a new life. You are encouraged to interrupt the cycle. You have worked very long for a very long time to get here. Thinking about the next moment will only interrupt the one at hand. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with others. Stay gracious. This will make all the difference. Mm, fertility. Mm. Somebody could definitely be knocked up. All right. Current energy. Chris Bowser. Thank you, Spirit. Um, he's got some fake accounts, or somebody has a fake account looking into his account. Fake social media accounts to spy Facebook, Instagram, and or Twitter. Marrying for money. Being with someone just for the money. Chasing love. Mm. And dodging bullets, dodging haters, um, trying to escape crazy people. Mm. Chris Bowser, current energy. Thank you. Lies, manipulation, theft, risky behavior, and getting away with it with the Seven of Swords. With the Three of Wands, he's focusing on business and partnerships and goals, um, teamwork, planning ahead, even traveling, growth in business. Um, in the middle of the deck, he is working for what he wants. He's being very persistent with the Knight of Pentacles, tiptoeing to the bag, trotting ever so effortlessly, and trying to be a responsible person. How does Chris currently feel about my jazzy life? Thank you, Spirit. He's acknowledging that there's some information that's going to be coming out. There's delayed news, petty gossip, but be patient because there's something that he's going to say. With the Nine of Pentacles, subconsciously, he feels like they made money together. She made money. Um, pregnancy is on this card again. Could be a manifestation, could be a pregnancy, but there's wealth and a thriving business. Focusing on that business when it came to her. In the middle of the deck, he's at a crossroad. He had to make a tough decision. He was facing his fears. There was some denial because he didn't want to accept the truth, but made his decision apparently um okay so what's next for chris bowser thank you spirit again continuing to work for what it is that he wants being persistent wanting his dreams to come true being conservative and responsible person healing moving forward and overcoming depression with the five of cups in reverse knight of pentacles five of cups um and in the middle of the deck there is a lack of closure. There's something that has not ended yet. And again, it just keeps saying to me, the energy that's coming to me is that there's something that he has to get off of his chest. And then he can, you know, close the deal, close the book, close the chapter. There's energy of feeling like this is this is stagnation, like this is still weighing me down. And so I need to do something about this. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does. <laughs> 